In today's video, I will be giving you my updated 2024 NFL mock draft post free agency week. A lot of teams took care of positions via free agency. Therefore, their team needs will change in round one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So with the first pick, the Chicago Bears, rhetorical answer, Caleb Williams. They trade Justin Fields. They need a quarterback for the future. Caleb Williams, you're going to the Chicago Bears. Pick two, the Commanders. They got Marcus Mariota. They got Austin Eckler. They made some moves on defense. Um, Cliff Kensbury has a specific quarterback that he likes to have, like, athleticism-wise. I'm pretty sure he was the coach of Johnny Manziel. He coached Caleb Williams. He was the coach of Kyler Murray. If you start to get a sense of that kind of athleticism, I believe the quarterback between May and Daniels fits that. It's Jaden Daniels. Commanders. Pick three. The Patriots need a quarterback. They traded Mac Jones to the Jaguars. They got Jacoby Brissett who is most likely the regular season starter to start the season as they groom their quarterback. I believe the pick here, Drake May. Pick four, the Arizona Cardinals. They trade Rondell Moore. They need to give Kyler Murray weapons. Marvin Harrison Jr., the franchise receiver. Pick five, the Los Angeles Chargers. Jim Harbaugh is making this team the way he wants it to be. They released Mike Williams to trade Kenan Allen. Josh Palmer is not the answer. Quentin Johnson is probably not the answer. They need to give Justin Herbert weapons. They go receiver, Malik Neighbors. The New York Giants, they are one of the few teams that can trade into the top three to get their quarterback and groom them for a year. But we are doing no trades in this mock draft post-free agency. So pick six, they add a playmaker to the wide receiver room. Rome Adunze. Pick seven, the Tennessee Titans. They overpaid Calvin Ridley. This would have been a great chance for them to get a wide receiver and start fresh and kind of have a duel with Levis, but business is business. They did what they needed to do, so this is not a receiver pick. They go tackle Joe All, protect Will Levis for the future. Pick eight, the Atlanta Falcons. Kirk Cousins quarterback. They got Darnell Mooney, Rondell Moore. Now Drake London and Kyle Pitts finally have a quarterback that can feed in the ball. There's a great chance that London and Pitts have Pro Bowl seasons. Kirk Cousins has thrown for 4,000-plus passing yards in seven out of the past nine seasons. He's a gunslinger. That offense is going to have a spark show offensively, but they don't go offense here. They get the edge. Dallas Turner, the best edge in the class. Pick nine, Chicago Bears. They got Caleb Williams. They can either get a tackle to protect him for the future. Nope, no receiver or edge. Um, they gave they gave Caleb Williams weapons. Keenan Allen, DJ Moore. Um, so I don't think receiver is a pick here. They can go edge. Or a tackle, I think they could go edge here. Jared Verse, him and Montez Sweat, they will be an amazing edge duo. In Chicago, he had a great combine as well. He's going to rise up the draft boards. Pick 10, the New York Jets. They made a lot of moves in the offseason building up that line. Um, but based on the moves they did, I don't think they go line here. So they give Aaron Rodgers a weapon. Tight end, Brock Bowers. Garrett Wilson, Brock Bowers, they start to kind of Either get a free agent receiver. I won't be surprised if Odell Beckham goes here, honestly. Or they get a receiver later in the draft. But Brock Bowers gives some tight end power there. Pick 11, the Minnesota Vikings. Sam Darnold is not the answer, but if they are going to use him as a bridge quarterback so they can have their franchise quarterback of the future, they're going quarterback here, J.J. McCarthy. We don't know if Justin Jefferson will get traded or he stays, but... Justin Jefferson, I'm sorry, but looks like J.J. McCarthy may be your future quarterback if you do not get traded. Pick 12, the Denver Broncos. This team is a mess. They are slowly blowing it up. Sean Payton is probably the next to go. I won't be surprised if they cut Cortland Sutton and Patrick Sertain. Just grab all the picks they can and just rebuild for the next few years. But we are not going to go with that assumption of Sutton and Sertain being traded. So I think they could either go corner here. 
Maybe Bo, I don't think they go Bo next year. I think they go edge or corner, but let's give them corner. Terry and Arnold, opposite of Patrick Sertain. Pick 13, the Las Vegas Raiders. They got Christian Wilkinson. They got Gardner Minshew. So they made some they made some pretty decent moves in the offseason. Um, Antonio Pierce wants a mauler in his football team who has an amazing attitude that wants to just hurt people. Um, whoever the future quarterback is, we don't know who it is. I don't think it's Aiden. I don't think it's Aiden O'Connell. But I do believe that they start to build a line here. And I see that they will get Olu tackle. I think Olu slips a little bit, but it stops right there. They get Olu. Pick 14, the New Orleans Saints. That line needs work. They can also go edge here and get Latu or get receiver since they pretty sure they released Michael Thomas and I think Chris Olave is just there. But they draft Talise Fuwaga. They plug him in as a guard. Get that offensive line straight in now. Pick 15, the Indianapolis Colts. They re-sign Michael Pittman. They can go Brian Thomas Jr. here. I think Pittman and Brian Thomas will be an amazing duo, but they have like Josh Downs, Pierce, so I'm not too sure if that might cause a stacked room. But they take care of a very leaky pass defense. Kenyon Mitchell, you're going to the Colts. Pick 16, the Seattle Seahawks. They can go edge. They can go D-line here. Let's go edge. Let's go Latu. Latu to the Seahawks. Yeah, great combine. One of the one of the purest edge, edge rushers in this class. Then it goes to um, Seattle. Pick 17, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Calvin, Calvin Ridley is no longer there. They have Kirk Cousins. They can either go tackle to protect uh, – Trevor Lawrence, because he's been he played banged up all last year. They can go edge. So I don't think Chop goes there. They go receiver or cornerback. Let's go receiver. Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram. Let's give Trevor Lawrence weapons now that really is not there. Pick 18, the Cincinnati Bengals. T. Higgins is requesting a trade, but this is a bit too high for the next receiver in this class. They can go tackle. They can go tight end, nope, or D-line. We will go tackle J.C. Latham, protect Joe Burrow. Pick 19, Aaron Donald had an amazing, Aaron Donald had an amazing career, so bravo to you. One of the best D-tackles to ever play this game. Now that he retired, they definitely need to take care of the D-line. So we'll go by Murphy, steps in, and becomes the next up in Aaron Donald's spot. Byron Murphy, you are going to the Los Angeles Rams. Pick 20, the Pittsburgh Steelers. They got Russell Wilson. They traded for Justin Fields. George Pickens is the wide receiver one. They traded Deontay Johnson to the Panthers. They got Patrick Queen. So they made some moves this offseason. Um, but I think they need to give uh, Joey Porter Jr. some help. Nate Wiggins to the Steelers. Build up that steel curtain defense. Pick 21, the Dolphins. They made a lot of moves on defense. But they're going to need to take care of that line. I'm pretty sure a lot of um, a lot of linemen are free agents. They can go center. We're not too sure what's going to go on with Connor Williams, but I don't think he will go back to Miami. They can go JPJ here or tackle. We are going to go tackle. Amarius Mims, the fall stops there. Pick 22, the Philadelphia Eagles. They had an amazing free agency. They got Saquon Barkley, Devin White, Bryce Huff. They made some moves. They're not playing around. They want to get a ring. Um, That offense is stacked. They can either go JPJ, get a Jason Kelsey replacement. They can go corner here, get Cooper DeGene, wide receiver. I don't think they go wide receiver here. Um, They can either go JPJ or corner. I do believe that they need to take care of that pass defense. Cooper DeJean is going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Pick 23, the Minnesota Vikings again. They trade with the Houston Texans. 
with pick 11 and pick 23, I will not be surprised if they stack those picks and trade to the top three and get like Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Possibility now that they got a second first round pick, but no trades here. So they either go corner, they can go edge, they can go D line. They can go JPJ. Let's say that they take care. Do they need? Hmm. Very interesting. Who should the Minnesota Vikings get? I mean, running back's fine. Aaron Jones, they probably get running back later. They can get Jerzon Newton. They can go Ed Chop Robinson. They go Johnny Newton. Pick 23, Johnny Newton to the Vikings. Pick 24, the Dallas Cowboys. They need a left tackle. Troy, you are going to the Dallas Cowboys. You could play left guard, left tackle. He's one of the most versatile offensive linemen. He was rated the best lineman in his conference this past college football season. The fall stops here for Troy. You are the future, probably blindside tackle for Dak for Dak Prescott. Pick 25, the Green Bay Packers. They can go cornerback, but with Jair Alexander, Carrington Valentine, Eric Stokes, they got Kashawn Nixon, and they got Corey Valentine. I mean, the boundaries are pretty much set. They can move Kool-Aid in the slot, but I don't think they do that. I think Kool-Aid's pure outside corner. I don't think they go there. They can go tackle Tyler Gallion. He's more of a right tackle, but he's more upside with limited playing experience. Zach Tom has the right tackle. Too high for safety. I don't think they go D-line. They can go edge at chop. They can go interior. But I think it is either going to come down there or they could reach and get Edron Cooper. But I don't think they might. Go, I don't think they go linebacker again in the first round. I mean, there's a possibility they can. Um, Jackson Powers Johnson. There's no one to back up Josh Myers, so the center is possible. Let's go. Interesting. This is very interesting for the Packers. They could like trade back. JPJ, do the Packers go with JPJ center? I think the Packers are the type of team to go just pure upside. I mean, they got Lucas Van Ness, pure upside. Preston Smith is in his final year. Uh, Kingsley and Mbari is in the IR. Rashawn Gary is the top dog of the edge room, but he seems to get banged up. Lucas Van Ness has high upside. If Chop is going to go to a team, he's going to go to the team where he isn't a day one starter. He's going to go somewhere where he could be a rotational piece and eventually be that day one starter. Um, I don't know if the Packers will go center this high. This is crazy. This is hard. I think it goes between JPJ or Chop. Let's go JPJ. Let's make it different for the Packers. I don't know if they go edge and back-to-back -back first rounds, and there's not a backup for Josh Myers, and I don't even know if he's the future at center, and there's no backup for Sean Ryan. So the interior line for the Green Bay Packers need help. Packers go JPJ. We'll make it different for the Packers. Pick 26, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They re-signed Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield. Um, I don't think a wide receiver is in need here. So I think Adonai stays. They can go edge, go chop. You can go corner. Let's go corner. That pass defense was not right. That corner, that pass defense was not right. Pick 27, the Arizona Cardinals. They got Marvin Harrison. Pick four. They need edge help. 
Yep, I think this is where Chop goes. Chop is an athletic freak. Based off combine and huge upside, he's going to sneak in the first round. I know there's a lot of people saying he's a second round pick. He's going to sneak in the first round just based off upside, combine results. Teams love to reach for those kind of things. Athleticism, combine results, upside, they go chop. Buffalo Bills, oh my goodness. They need help in the cornerback position. They need to get a wide receiver, whether they trace the Fon Diggs or not. But let's go wide receiver. I didn't name Mitchell. Give Josh Allen more weapons. Pick 29, Detroit Lions. They need to go corner. They can go D-line. But I say they go edge. They give Aiden Hutchinson a partner. One of the most versatile defensive linemen in the draft. Baltimore Ravens. Go receiver here or tackle. They go receiver here. Xavier Worthy. Zay Flowers, Xavier Worthy. I like that. Pick 31, the San Francisco 49ers. They get Tyler Guyton. They get a tackle for the future. And the Kansas City Chiefs, they don't need this pick. Damn near the whole team's coming back. They're trying to get a three-peat. If they want to get greedy, they could just trade this pick to the Vikings so they could get Justin Jefferson. Oh, my God. That would explode the NFL world. But they really don't need this pick. But it's a mock draft, so we'll give them a pick. Um, they have Hollywood Brown, a one-year deal. They have Rashi Rice. They can go tackle. They can go D-line. Nope, they got Chris Jones back. Let's go Keon Coleman. Give him some height on the offense. So there you have it. That is my updated 2024 NFL mock draft post-free agency. Team needs did change off free agency, but stay on the lookout for more weekly content. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.